Welcome to Pumped Up Lower Body. For this workout, we will need a heavy dumbbell. So I have a 12 and a 15 as options over here, but we'll only need one dumbbell at a time and then a looped booty band. As always, listen to your body. Take any and all options that feel right for you today. In today's workout, we will be linking exercises together to challenge our lower body through all different ranges of motion and planes of motion. So we're going to go sideways, front, back, and add rotation. So we work our entire lower body and get a little bit of core work built in there as well. So let's get started. We're going to start today's workout with a little glute activation. So hop right on in to your booty band. We're not messing around. We only have 30 minutes making it count. Take your feet hip distance apart or a little bit wider, but notice we're still very parallel. That will change in a moment. Slow squat, please back for two and up for two. Sit back. Take your time. Really thinking about pressing out on the band. Weight is in your heels. Let's go four more slow. Sit and rise. Two more slow. Last one. Now hold it at the bottom. Little bitty step touch right and left. So it's right, tap, left, right, left. Good work. Upper body is relaxed. We're pressing out on the band. And notice the foot only comes halfway in. We can. Saying hello to our cupcakes right away. It's eight, seven, four, three. We're coming home base. Single squats. Down and up. A little faster. Four more, please. Go four. Three. Two, last one. Now stay down, diagonal taps. Out, in. So we're pressing back on the diagonal. Standing leg has a soft bend. Ooh. It's four, three, two, switch legs. Diagonal taps, other way. Really press it back. How far can you reach on the diagonal? Racing through your core. Arms are in their natural flow here. Good, stand up, hold right here. Let's get set up. Toes tap out to a little bit of 45 degrees. Slow, sumo squat. Up, back. So we'll notice we feel it a little bit more in our external rotator muscles as we press the knees out towards our pinky toe. Oh, I know. Here we go. Your right foot goes back. Three pulse curtsy. It's three, two, tap side. Good work. Three. And up. How far back you cross your leg is up to you. Keep your front knee and toe going together. Can we go singles for eight? Eight. Little hinge means a little more booty work. Just four. Four. Three, two, last one. We switch sides, please. Three pulses, go. Three, tap. So the tap side keeps the tension on our band. Good, good work. Back knee is still bending, even though it's going across. Just two more, please. Last one. Are you ready for those singles? Here they come. Singles for eight. Eight. Seven. We can always go half tempo if this feels a little fast. For four. Three. Love it. Two. Last one. Come back up. Now side lunge slow. Reach to the outside corner of your foot. Other way. Side lunge. Reach. Come in. Do it again. Reach and rotate. Big push to rise. Reach and rotate. Little add-on, reach to rotate. But this time, push and lift and lower. Rotate slow, push, lift quick. Rotate slow, lift. Yes, good. Four more of 
these and you're done with your warm up. I'm definitely warm. Good. Lift. Two more. Push. Last one. Up and come down. Slide out of your band just for now and grab one dumbbell. Grab one dumbbell. All right, my friends. For this one, our right leg is going to be the one that's moving, but our left leg is going to be the one that is feeling it, just so you know. All right, kick stand the right leg back. Hips are square, shoulders are back. It's a single leg, dead lift. Hoop, good, down, two, up, two. Weight is in your front leg. Your back leg is acting as a balance tool. Big squeeze. Now option here to add a toss. So you go quick, toss, and up, down, toss, rise, down. Now one more option. You bring it up to your shoulder as you come up. Now this matters for our next move. Hup. Two more. Last one. Keep the dumbbell racked. Three pulse lunge. Three, two, one, up. Now you can have the dumbbell here. That is totally fine. When we start to add on in just a moment, I tend to like it like this. Let's go slow. Step back, lunge slow. Slow, rotate, come home, stand up. Again, slow. Lower. Little elbow tap. Open up. Come back. Again. Slow. Rotate. Open. And rise. Again. Down. Rotate. Up. Two more like that. Deep lunge. Rotate. Center. Then press through your heel. One more. Lower. Rotate. Center. And rise. Shake it out. Maybe switch dumbbell to the other hand or set it down all together. That's all you have to know. We get two deadlift and toss and then one super slow lunge. Here we go, friends. That foot goes back. Take your time. Remember, we never have to do the toss. And you can lift the dumbbell up to your shoulder only on the second one, if you like. Has your cupcake recovered? Let's do it. Down two. I'm going to go regular deadlift first. Up. Two. Down. Up. Slow lunge. It's slow. Rotate. Center. Stand tall. Toss if you wish. Down. Toss. Up. Bring it to your shoulder on this one. Step back slow, slow. So you always will have time to catch up since the lunge is slow. Deadlift, toss if you wish. Down, toss, flat back, squeeze. Again, Hup. squeeze, bring it to your shoulder. Step back slow, sink, rotate, center, brace to your core, up. Deadlift again, Hup. squeeze, whoop, bicep. Step back slow, sink. Rotate, center, drive. Two more sets, we can do it. Squeeze, up, sink low, slow. Rotate, center, up, last one. Hup. Eyes forward, squeeze, do it again. Dumbbell comes up. Reverse, sink, rotate, center, and rise. Let it go. Ooh, would you like a figure four stretch of that left leg? I do. Ooh. Happy first combo there, friends. All right, right away into the other side. Grab your dumbbell, water anytime you need it. So now the left leg is moving, but your right leg will be feeling it. 
Kick stand when you're ready. Down for two. Down. Hup. Squeeze. Shoulders are down. Eyes are slightly forward. Keep it up. When you're ready, we can add the toss. Down. Squeeze. We want to make sure we're coming up to neutral versus slamming those hips forward and leaning back. And I say that because I have to remind myself of that all the time. We can add the curl to the shoulder if we wish. Hup. Good, three pulse lunge. Just the lunge first. And up, three. One more like this, let's slow it down on the next one and rotate, remember it's half tempo. Down, rotate, center, drive through your heel, lower, rotate, center, and stand. Again, down, oh. We can wiggle our front toes always. That rotation gets you so good. Two more, just the lunge, sink, rotate, center, press. Last one, down, rotate, center, press, shake it out. Amazing work. Now we get to put it together six times. Dumbbell goes back in your left hand, kick stand, shoulders roll back and down. Good, deadlift. Remember, we get two sets of the deadlift. I'm gonna go no toss first. One more. Bring it to your shoulder. Step back, lunge, slow. Dip, rotate, center, brace your core and rise. Toss if you wish. Down, toss, rise. Good, curl. Step back, sink low. Both knees bent. Rotate, use your core to stabilize, center. And rise, deadlift, two down, hup. Squeeze. Hup, sink, down, rotate, center, and rise. You're halfway, hup. Squeeze. Think about standing as tall as you can. Lunge, slow. Oh, I know it's tempting to rush it but stay slow. Two more. Hup. It allows us to engage those extra muscle fibers when we have to stabilize. Center and rise. Last one, best one. All the way up. Sink low in your lunge. Sink, rotate, center. And stand, amazing work everyone. You can set the dumbbell down for just a moment. Water if you need it. Okay. So we still actually just need the one dumbbell. I keep wanting to switch with the whole workout. Just one dumbbell and a band. So no band for this one. Hands go down. Remember we practiced that sumo squat in the warm up. This is why. So toes are out, dumbbell can be down or start at your chest. Let's take a sumo squat, down, up. So just a little external rotation of your feet. Here's four, three, two, last one. Dumbbell goes down, now drop and hold. Drop, hold, 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 rise. Down, hold, hold, up, yep, drop. Now you can choose to take the hold or add a little arm work. So option one, we go down, curl, and rise. Even though we're working the arm, moving the dumbbell actually makes the legs work a little harder. Next option, down and lift, down, lift, and up, four more, down. So then your core really has to turn on when the dumbbell goes forward. Two more. Last one. Oh, 
Stand up, set your dumbbell down. Whew. Now your feet stay right where they are. We're gonna sink up at your lunge, watch me. It's down, up, rise, slow. Down, up, rise. We can add a squat jump if we like. Down, up, rise, yep. Down, up, or releve, or down, in, out, and rise. Down, in, out, and rise. Two more. One more. Good, stand up, shake it out. Now, you know where you get to add the dumbbell. So amazing. So remember your options. Syncopate onto your toes, jump it in, or get some major air. Your call. Dumbbells in your hands. Syncopate first, I'm gonna go all the options. So it's down, up, rise, or down, in, up, or you can be here, down, up, and rise. Sometimes I like it better at my chest, but it can be right here. Down, in, up, or all the way air. Ooh, again. Hup. One more. And stand up, shake it out. Now we get to put the two squats together. Down and shoulder raise or down and bicep curl to whatever version of the squat jump you want. Ready? Good. Here we go. Down, shoulder, sink a pay. Down, up, rise. Next option, down, shoulder. I like to bring it up here and then we can squat jump from here. Drop down, down, hoop, squat. But that's my personal preference. You do what feels best for you and your back, your knees, and so on. Down, Hup. my back likes it better if the weight is up here when I'm jumping. Woo. Oh, I know. Just two more sets and you're done with this. Down, up, down, up, down. One more. Down, up, down. Stand. Oh, quads are on fire. All right, keep the dumbbell. We need one band. We're adding the band, I should say. Oh, that would be not nice if I said two bands. However, sometimes I feel like the fabric brands feel like two bands, right? Okay, <laughs> here we go, friends. Your right leg is moving. The left hand has a dumbbell to start. Now, let me warn you, we will switch hands that has a dumbbell in this combo, okay? We'll get there, don't worry. Side lunge slow, just like the warm up first. Sit back, focus on a really big step out. Really big. Knee and toe, same direction. It's just the slightest hair of turnout here. It's almost like you're doing a single leg squat lift. Now, down, big push, down, big push. One more. Can you keep the leg off the ground? Just a side leg lift, please. Just eight, seven, Four more, go four. Three, we put those together. So side lunge slow, push and lift quick. Sink, lift, tap down, sink, press, tap down, down, squeeze. Four more. Depending on the strength of your band, the leg lift, may not look really big, but as long as you're feeling it in the outside of your cupcakes, you're doing it right. Last one, bring it down. Okay, now, as we come up, during the leg lift is when the dumbbell will toss. We'll practice in a minute, but toss it to your left, to your right hand, to your right hand, we end it here. 
three, pulse curtsy. We got this. It's three, two, one, tap. Three. So you can see we always have the dumbbell on the inside of the leg, the big toe side. That helps you know which hand. Hold it. Knee presses. Back. Back. Another option would be to keep it in both hands at your chest the entire time. Press. Press. Oh, stand up, tap side, put it together. Curtsy, knee press. Down, press, in, tap. Down, press. Woo. Down, press. Tap side. Can we go for four more? So again, we could have the dumbbell here. If that works better for us, works better to keep the dumbbell out of the way. Less confusing on the hand switching as well. Last one. And come up, shake it out. Maybe set your dumbbell down for a moment. If you're like me, sweat dripping into your eyes. Oh, I'm with you. Okay, friends. We get to put that madness together. Pick it up. We're with you. Left hand has the dumbbell. Side lunge is coming your way first. You ready? Side lunge, slow, slow. Lift, switch, curtsy, press, switch again, yes? Slow, press, switch hands, curtsy, knee, in, tap side, side. Lift, down, curtsy, press. Do it again, friends, sink. Oh, curtsy, knee press. Remember option, it could be at your chest. Lift, curtsy, knee, two more. We can sink, press, curtsy, hoop. One more, sink down, big squeeze, curtsy, knee press, and stand. Good job. We're heading to the other side. Side lunge is coming at us first. So the dumbbell starts in your right hand this time. Left leg is moving. Side lunge, it's slow. Think range of motion first. So we wanna sit way back and take as big of a step side as possible. You are always in control of your range of motion. Four more like that, sink back. Big press up. Sink down. Big press, just two more. One more, we stay up for the side leg lifts here. Side leg lift, go. Eight, seven. In four, three, two, last one. Side lunge and press. Slow, press, come in, sink down, push. Ooh, explode up. Four more, go. Sink back. Press and in. Two more. Last one, last one. Good, switch hands. Three pulse curtsy. Three, two, tap. Front knee behind your toe. How much you externally rotate your front leg is up to you. Four more, both knees bend though. We have a hinge, but keep the shoulders down, collarbone shining forward. One more, we stay, hold it, press your back knee. Eight, in, seven. In four. Three, two, stand all the way up, put it together. Curtsy, knee, curtsy, press, in, side. Good job, keep it up, friends. Four more. We're still stepping way far back. If you step further back, the knee press to the side doesn't have to be as big. 
for you to feel it. Last one, so it's a little nicer on our knees. Stand up. Good, set the dumbbell down, shake it out. Awesome job. Okay. We're putting it all together. Six times, we can do it. Pick it up. Let's go, friends. We're coming home. Side lunge, leg lift. Side, up, curtsy. Remember, we toss the dumbbell between the two exercises. Or it's in both hands the whole time. Also an option. That's two. Push, curtsy. Oh, come on. Especially with lower body work, the bigger you make it, the more you'll get out of it. One more, what you got, friends? Up, down, press, and shake it out. You made it. So I'm not sure if it's good or bad news, but you get to keep the band right where it is. So that's nice from a logistics standpoint. Maybe you're like, Lauren, I'd really like to get rid of that band. I know. But we're coming down to our knees. This last combo is super short. And you've got lots of options. So when you come back and revisit this workout, you can try a different option if you'd like. So hands go down. If you have any wrist issues, I have my mat folded over with my fingertips hanging off the folded side of my mat. That takes a little pressure off of my wrist. Just feels nice. Here we go, right leg, you're just lifting straight behind you. Lift, lower, press. Now here's the deal with this one. It's really easy to throw your leg around and to use your back. We want to use the booty, so foot is flex. Squeeze, hold it. Pulse up, squeeze, squeeze. Your low back is as still as possible. It's eight, seven, six, four. We bring it down, it's going to the side. Side, now depending on the strength of your band, Oh, mine is strong. We might not go very far, but that is A-OK. -okay. Here's four, three, two. We hold it out there, hold it. Just eight pulses here. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back in. Sit back, shake it out. Isn't it magic how when the leg goes side, your opposite obliques turn on? So good. So we go one back, one side, super easy. The challenge is if you want to take one of the po one of the sides or both from a hover position. I'll show you, don't worry. Here we go, friends, let's keep the knee down first. One to the back, one to the side. Back, side. So this is home base. Next option, maybe we hover as we go back and then leave the knee down as we go side. Or we hover back and hover side. Here's four. Remember, we can hover back and then stay down side. Two more. Oh, last one. And bring it down. Oh, that was brutal. Yikes. Good work, friends. Okay, we're heading to the other side. So I'm gonna turn around. You can stay whichever way you're facing. Take it to the back, foot is flex. Lift, lower, lift, squeeze. Belly's pulling in tight to protect and control your low back. Four more, four. I'm to the sweat dripping off our nose stage. <laughs> Let's hold, squeeze, pulse up like you're putting your footprint on the ceiling. Yes, the second side is harder because both sides are really working in this one. One to stabilize or one to hold and fight the resistance and one is your mover. Four, three, two, take it down, go side. Eight, seven, tight core. Four more, we're gonna make it. Three, two, last one, hold. Just eight pulses here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, sit it back. Little recovery. 
slash wipe my face off. <laughs> All right, let's put it together. Grand finale, we're coming home. It's so worth it. Remember, we'll have the option to hover if we like. I'm gonna scoot back so my feet are on solid ground here. Ooh, game faces, friends. One back, one side, regular first. Here we go. Back, down, side, back, side. Maybe we want the hover to the back, but the knee stays down when we go side. That's another great option. Four more, or we can hover in both directions. Three, two, oh, I'm dying, last one. Just so you know you're not alone. And you're all the way down. Oh, gracious me. Sit back, child's pose, if you wanna take your band off, because it's limiting your child's pose, you go right ahead and then sit it back. All right, there we go. Sit way back into a wide-legged child's pose. Flip it over and sit down. Option one, right leg across for a figure four stretch. If you're feeling feisty, we can go, oh, I don't know if I'm feeling feisty today on this side, into cow face pose. So our knees are coming towards one another. And then we lean forward. Ooh, hey now. So we should feel it really in both hips and this top hip flexor here. The key, which is hard, is to try to relax into the stretch. We tend to tense up against it. Don't forget to breathe. And then let's come up, shake it out, send your legs out in front of you. Inhale, arms up, exhale, reach forward. Nice. Good, now look up, straighten your arms, and then bend your elbows, but keep a nice tall chest. In other words, we wanna avoid rounding through the upper back, so we're lengthening all the way from our heels to our neck. Good, come up, so option. We cross the left foot over into a figure four, press to sit up, or cross the bottom leg. Good, sometimes you gotta get this cupcake out of the way, and then hinge forward, it helps, I promise. We can also sit crisscross applesauce and hinge forward. If you can't remember which leg you did first, do whatever leg feels awkward in front now, because we tend to go to the natural leg first, so this side probably feels a little awkward. Two more deep breaths here. And uncross your legs. Let's flip to all fours and then hips lift. Walk it into forward fold. We can always use our dumbbell like a yoga block. Bend your right knee. Start to the outside of your left hip and then bend your left knee. Soft knees and we roll it up. Shoulders roll back and down. That was pumped up. Lower body. Until next time, friends.